Okay, here we are. We're still in the over app. I just showed you how to import fonts that you've purchased commercial rights to by emailing a zip file to yourself and then opening it with over. And now in this video, I'm going to show you how to import images that you'll then be able to access the same way. So maybe you've purchased a zip file that contains a lot of images from Creative Market or FontBundles.net or any of these other sites. And they're likely going to give you a zip file with a folder and some organization, a tree uh, to keep everything organized. And that's where the problem comes in because you could just import all those images one by one or as a group into photos on your iPhone or your iPad, but you're not going to have that same organization where you can then go find it. Uh, it's just not something that photos really supports. So I'm going to show you how I do it so you can keep all that organization and still access them through over. So I'm going to exit this. I'm going to go to Safari and this is fontbundles.net where I've purchased several bundles. You can see them all down here. We're just going to use this first one here, this Christmas Elements Bundle. And when I click on View Files, I get the files down here, this zip file called 19 Christmas Elements. Now, when I click on that, it's going to open up in a new window here. It's going to not trick you, but it says Open in Over. And that's not what you want to do. That's not going to bring the, uh, the items into Over. So we're actually going to press More underneath. And it's going to give us these options. And it, it looks like, oh, I'll just save it to Dropbox. I'll just save it to iCloud. Well, yeah, you could do that, but that's just going to save the zip file to Dropbox or the zip file to iCloud Drive. And I'm trying to do all of this from mobile. So you certainly could download this zip file to your computer, to your desktop or your laptop, and then unzip it and then upload all of those files to Dropbox or iCloud. You could do that. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video. We're going to do it all on the phone. So just like I showed you before, we had to slide over to get to, uh, to over. We're going to slide over a little bit, not import with over. Again, it's, it's not the way it's going to work. Um, there's all these other um, apps that can interact with zip files. And if you go all the way over, we've got import with WinZip or import with iZip. Now, I've experimented with all these, and they work, but they don't work on big files. They do have a limit on the free version. So I did purchase the paid version of import with WinZip. I think it's $3, maybe it's $4. Uh, so I'm going to import with WinZip because of the size of the file. So this is what I want to import, okay? And I want to unzip it, because I don't want, I don't just want to download that zip file and put it somewhere, I want to unzip it. And here I have Dropbox, Google Drive, and iCloud. Uh, these are all the ones that I'm already logged in. So you can download these apps as well to your iPhone. So the first time you do this might be a, a few extra steps compared to what I'm showing you here. So I'm gonna send these all to Dropbox. Okay, now you see I already started putting in here AA, AA, because I want these things at the top, because I got a lot of uh, junk folders in here. So I'm going to put another new folder here. I'm going to call it AA, uh, let's give it underscore, and let's call it Christmas, so I can remember what it is. So we're going to create, and let's actually put that down at the bottom now that it's new. I'm going to choose that folder, and I'm going to unzip. Okay, so now all of those elements, including the organizational folder tree, so however they're set up, and I haven't even looked at this file, I don't know if it's all just in one file, but if it was in a folder with some subfolders, it's going to keep that same folder directory in Dropbox. All right, so that's very important. It's going to really help you guys stay organized. So now we're going to go back to over, and we're going to add some images, and this is where it looks a little different. They just make it a little, a little too hard, like where did these images go? And here you go to your photos and you simply slide down a little bit. And here's where you have camera, all photos, and more. When you click on more, the default one that it gives you is iCloud. But if I change locations up here at the top, you see I can change over to Dropbox. And you see I have that AA underscore Christmas folder that we just made. And you see I have 19 Christmas elements. And I have all of these PNG files. Okay, so they didn't... Uh, this isn't in a bunch of uh, folders like some of the ones are. But you can see I have all of them in here now, and it, it's slowly loading each one. You can see which ones I have. So if I wanted to put in a tree, or this deer, or a snowflake, you see it's got an EPS file, which of course isn't really going to import. Uh, maybe I want to put in this angel, or star, pine cone. So let's put in this, uh, this rocky horse. And that's it. So I can line it up. I can adjust it, I can change the color on it, uh, and change the shadow, there's, there's a lot that you can do with this. 
Um, it's really just that easy. So tint here is where I can change the color. Um, let's see what else we can go with this. We can make a red. And this is, remember what I told you before about matching the color. If I can press this little dot right here and I can come up here and I can match this purple exactly. So I want to make sure that I'm using the same color uh, on the image as the text. Uh, I can certainly do it that way. Uh, so very handy tool. Uh, you know to change the color of course you can change the size you can change the rotation you can do all this stuff and uh, now I have access to all of those elements right here uh, in over so it's a few extra steps so if you need to watch this video again go through it nice and slow uh, so that you can add zip file items that you purchased and you can add them you do you could add them to iCloud here you kind of add them to your, your preferred uh, cloud storage iCloud Google, Dropbox, or even OneDrive from uh, from Microsoft, they do give you a lot of options. And once they're in there, you can access them. And uh, that's really the best and easiest way that I've found to uh, to purchase artwork, uh, icons, vectors. Um, you want to find things that are in PNG file, uh, PNG format. I think it's going to be the easiest way to import them. They have a nice a transparent background, and you can layer them over different things. Um, I think it's really the easiest way. So I know this video had a lot of steps, so go through it nice and slow. If you have questions, please reach out, maybe ask in the comments. I'd be happy to, uh, to answer them. But now you know how to import your own fonts that you've purchased with commercial rights, as well as your own images that you've purchased commercial rights. And when you do that, and you have the right dimensions, uh, and you can export as PNG, then you've really got an all-in-one solution for designing for Merch by Amazon from mobile. So stay tuned for the next few videos. I'm gonna show you how to export these as PNG.